So the thing we missed most while we were traveling full time was those traditions like spending Christmas with friends and family. So now that we are home, we're making a real effort to make sure that we do celebrate those traditions. I feel like every year Stace says to me, all right, it's December, you know what's happening? We're gonna be out doing the same stuff again every <laughs> single year, but it is fun and I'm, I'm a little bit grinchy, but I have encouraged the no. tradition ever since. You've been a lot better this year. So today, we, one of our main traditions is all about strawberries, whether it's strawberry ice cream, just going and buying strawberries. Today we're doing all of the strawberry things. Picking, ice cream, eating. Have you even looked at Oh, there's massive ones in there. Yes. Sun's out, Stace has her guns out. <laughs> that, Hats on, it's summer. That's summer vibes, that's how you know it feels. It actually feels, genuinely feels Christmassy now. Yeah. It hasn't for, for some time, but anyway, I'm excited for some straws. Me too. And I have actually picked them before as a kid, but I don't, you haven't. No, I've never done it before, and I love strawberries, so it's just outrageous that I've never done it before. I cannot believe that you, that you haven't done it. And I remember I as a kid, and maybe I, it was either my parents or staff members or whatever, I remember real young, lying on the ground and just eating the strawberries straight, <laughs> which is obviously frowned upon. So naughty. <laughs> I don't think I'll do that today. No. So I'm not entirely sure how it works or how much it costs, yeah. but it feels extra exciting because we have been in lockdown for so long, but mm. we're finally kind of out of it. It feels like a good mission. Yeah. It's our first kind of proper mission out. But the biggest tradition, of course, every year is putting up the Christmas tree. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Babe, it's six thirty. We're about to leave and walk out the door. Yeah. Oh, it does fit. Thank God. So it just took us over over an hour actually to put together our new entertainment unit, which we absolutely love. It looks awesome, but it's because of the drawers. Getting the drawers right was the tricky part, and having to put the hinges on the inside. Because it's so cheap. <laughs> what are you going on? Oh, okay, you know, I see what that whole thing's about. Ugh. I'm trying to line everything up at the same okay, time. Okay, let me put down this for a second. <laughs> I'm going to have Christmas music. <laughs> oh, it's Jesus. <laughs> now we're getting in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stupid tree. Speaking of Christmas and the holiday season travels, now is the perfect time to pick up a VPN. And lucky for you, our friends at Surfshark who've been supporting us for a long time are sponsoring this video and have a huge offer for you as well. So we've been using Surfshark for over a year now and just knowing that all of our data, especially while we travel, knowing that our data is safe and encrypted and private is so important, especially with things like banking, when you're on the road and when we're using random public Wi-Fi networks all around the country and internationally as well. Unblocking content from all around the world is cool though as well. That means that we can access sites like Hulu in the US, ITV in the UK, and I can virtually be in the US so I can watch the NHL and I can watch the Flyers and watch them lose again. Wait, they lost again? But Surfshark is the best because they've got unlimited access on multiple devices simultaneously for you and your family with one subscription. And they've given us a discount code which gets you 83% off as well as four additional months for free as well. So you can head to this link here or there's a link in the description as well. But there's also a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's there's literally no reason not to try. I love Christmas. I, I, don't, I don't think I've always been a huge Christmas lover. Do you know what I think it was? It was that year that we were away, we were in Thailand, Yeah. that I was like, oh my gosh, I really love Christmas. Oh, so and it made you realise how much you missed it. Yeah, and it wasn't until I didn't have it that yeah. I was like, I think now I appreciate it a lot more than I used to. Mm. And it's not like the presents or anything like that, it's just spending time with family and I don't know. And Christmas carols. <laughs> and Christmas carols and trees <laughs> and food. You know what is crazy that we haven't done is that we haven't actually ever been to the, the European snowy winter Christmas markets. That's 100% on the agenda. I've had one snowy, one white Christmas in my whole life and that's it. And Stace has had a big fat goose egg. So we're definitely going to have to change that sometime very soon. Maybe even next year, who knows.
Oh yeah, hey, this is looking cool. This is a massive place too. Amazing! It's massive. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Summary as. There's not too many people around either, which is no, nice. Just, just one, one little family. Family. Yeah. Hey, still saying on the same words. Jinx, as me. you owe me a pun of strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> I'll slip you one. <laughs> We are just hoping to pick some strawberries, please. How does it all work? Um, so you pick into these containers here. Yeah. And once this is full, we'll be roughly about a kilo. Okay. And it's $18 a kilo. Okay, cool. You just go out and you pick and then you come back in and we'll put them in containers for you and then weigh them and then you pay them. Okay, amazing. Yep. Um, there's no eating while picking. Okay. And you can take your masks off as long as you're socially distant. Yeah. So I just went to the car to drop some stuff off. Can't look up. Stace is already down here. Look at her. She's picking straws already. Started without me. Is that what we came here to <laughs> I mean, yeah, but together. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I was excited. <laughs> so eager beaver. Look, look at these these good ones I've got so far. Are they juicy? Yeah. Look at the size of this one. Oh, that's lovely. They're so. They're just so nice looking. Mm. I'm not allowed to eat them, but man, it's tempting. Obviously. Look at, oh, there we go. Okay, so there's some baby ones in there too, but there's some real red, juicy looking ones as well. Yeah, so how does it work? I wasn't really listening so much. So basically, you get given a little container and you can fill up as many as you want, but basically one container is about a kg, which costs oh, okay, $18. Okay, right. So I think, you know, we probably won't eat more than one container worth. So let's try and fill up one mm. and then um, leave room for ice cream. So, and did she say pay at the end as well? Yeah, you pay at oh, the so, end. Oh, okay, yeah, so, so we can maybe just get one pick. kilo of those and then buy a couple of ice creams and then yeah. we've got a kilo of strawberries as well. Yeah. Yay. Fun. So, even though there's actually a massive area in terms of their straw farm, it's a Ooh. massive area. You can just kind of make out that white area there. We're kind of roped into just a smaller kind of plot here. Sort of wander around and just do bit, bits at a time, I suppose. But there's sheep over there in the background. There's cows over there, I think. <laughs> I love it out here. It's so calm. Should we have a competition? Nah, because you'll win. See who can find the biggest <laughs> one. Ooh, yeah, that is that. premium. Did you just say glossy? Look yeah. making a little bit of a start. We'll just go. Yeah, we're doing well. I want some bigger ones Ooh. though. Oh, that's, I was waiting for that to come again. There's a speaker here and it scared the crap out of us before we weren't sure what it was. It's just that guy there. It must be to scare away birds and stuff because that would be heartbreaking. Oh, look how juicy they are through there. The next group is probably going to get into that side and get all the good stuff. You're in your element here, aren't you? Yeah, sorry, I'm not really talking very much because I'm just like on a mission. Oh, wow, look at the size of this yes. one. Yes. Now we're in that apple ballpark. That's, That's, what, we're That's what we're talking about. Look, I'll show you face for scale. That's quite big, eh? Yeah, that's big. Yes. Should have put some sunscreen on though, I didn't even think about it. I don't I think it was going to be this summery, this hot. It's so well, hot. we came on a weekday though, because I imagine on a weekend, in fact, we know on a weekend when you drive past here, these places are just crammed, aren't they? There's so many people. I'm so glad we're here and it's nice and quiet and we get the best strawberries. And we're basically going to end up having an ice cream for breakfast. Yes. Around lunchtime, if that makes sense. Is it gonna, what time is it? Is it almost lunchtime? Yep, almost. Then we can have two ice cream, maybe some waffles. <laughs> just get out of here. <laughs> oh no, this guy falled into the middle. Oh look, that's a good one. Pick that one. That's yeah, a goodie, that. Wow, that is so red, even for my colourblind eyes. <laughs> oh wow, you really go for the stalk. <laughs> so you can really like put it in there like a cherry. <laughs> that's a goodie? Mm, not, no, not too, happy? He's the wrong colour. Too too dark yeah, at the, at the seen, roots? Yeah, he's got too much suntan. Ooh, these guys are going to be good. Wish you 
Wish you luck there, mate. You're going to be a great one for somebody else. Oh, yeah. Some Happy good ones, that. like, in the middle as well. Yeah, that's where I just found him. He's not very big, but I, I like the juiciness. Okay. Juice well, you've factor. taken half a bloody thing with you. <laughs> we could work on your picking game. Okay, okay. So I'm not going to get hired for the summer. <laughs> Good haul. It only takes about, you could probably grab all you need a kilo in about 10 minutes, but we took about 30 or 40, I think. You happy with what we got? Yep, I was just making sure before we pay. Yeah. I think that looks like a good haul. Probably about a kilo. We could have got put a bit more in there, but we'll see what the cost comes out to. Yeah, I can't wait to eat them. So that worked out pretty well in terms of price. That was all up, I think, was it $22? Uh, yeah, for 20, the punnet of straws. Yeah, 22 bucks. So we only got 800, so we got 800 grams of straws. We're a bit light on the um, on the volume, but it doesn't matter. It's just a price per kilo. And the, the girl that was working there said, from a picker's point of view, I think you guys did pretty well in terms of finding the juiciest. And I can't claim a single second of that because <laughs> I did not pick very many. <laughs> and then I don't know what these were each, like four bucks each or something. something so yeah, like $22 that. and you like a couple of hours just hanging yeah. out. It's a cool date nice idea. ice cream. Yeah. Real nice. Listen to some scary sounds out there in the <laughs> field. And I got two ice rooms for myself. Did you know? I knew you were going to say that. Give, no. Do the wall rust? <laughs> Can't take you anywhere. Mm. So tasty, eh? First one. And the cool thing is, like, it's healthy because it's it's fruit. It's fruit. What did you have for lunch today? Fruit, fruit. in a cone. Obviously, just cold, <laughs> just cold, <laughs> just cold fruit in a cone. Fruit salad. <laughs> I didn't actually touch it. It's a few days later and we're still eating these bloody strawberries. They're so good. <laughs> Not as good as the ice cream. Ice cream breakfast is definitely where it's at. It's my favorite breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> but we realize this video is going up on Christmas Eve. Well, if you're on this side of the world, if you're on mm. the other, it may, maybe not quite yet, but we want to jump in and say, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And thank you so much for following along with us this year. Mm. It's been a bit of a weird year. But Very strange year. Um, even adventures like picking strawberries have made us super excited for next year. And we've got a couple of things planned mm -hmm. in, but we don't want to jinx it. It's no, too much. the thought of a potential pending lockdown again after the Christmas holidays while we're not away and we've got all of this stuff planned, got loads of trips that we want to share with you soon. It's so scary, but we just have to be excited, open-minded. And positive. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Anyway, back to good vibes. We hope you have an amazing Christmas, New Year, festive season, wherever you are in the world. And uh, yeah, Merry, peace, Merry peace Christmas, peace, peace out, peace, <laughs> peace and happiness and love and... and We're so bad at these endings. <laughs> Peace, happiness, love, strawberries, and Santa. And ice cream. And ice cream. <laughs>